Is Jaden Daniels going to win Rookie of the Year? Boom! Is he? Who knows? That's what you got to watch the rest of the video, dude. What a hook. Roll that intro. Roll the intro, bro. So it's been a little while since I've posted. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to stay consistent, but I've been traveling with another YouTuber that you guys may know of. His name is Brandon Buckingham. You guys can check him out. I'm his original videographer, and most recently I've been editing some of his videos. I've been traveling with him a bunch. It's been a ton of fun, but I'm going to be staying put for just a little bit. With the time that I have off, I'm going to be trying to focus on my YouTube channel. So, uh... Yeah, hopefully we can get these these uploads going again. For right now, we're in off season, so there's not too many like uh, other than initial reactions and stuff like that. There's not too many things I can talk about. I will say from the clips that I've been watching, Jaden Daniels looks fantastic. He's been placing the ball in some pretty great spots when they do like the I'm not even sure what they are I guess seven on sevens you know there's no pass rush or anything like that and it's not a real football scenario they can't even hit the quarterback in any scenario in, in uh, practice or at least they're not supposed to but either way it's not like it's a game time scenario so these are all just initial hype reactions it's not like we can say based off these throws that he's making in practice that he can he can convert that to real-time game decisions and this clip was popping up a bunch among commanders fans of this perfect placement pass to Jahan Dotson uh, and seeing something like this is really exciting. He's got a really strong connection with Luke McCaffrey already. We've seen a lot of clips of, uh, at least in the earlier on days during rookie minicamp. He was connecting a lot with Luke McCaffrey. And it's exciting to see that we might have a pretty scary triple threat. Jahan Dotson, Terry McLaurin, Luke McCaffrey. One concern a lot of people had about Jaden coming out of college was that he was a little bit too skinny or just not like NFL size fully. They did bring down the top quarterbacks down to, I believe it was like, I forget where it was i'll have to pop it up on screen if i can find it he looks pretty good next to some of the other top picks when they were doing some of the media posts and stuff like that them getting into their uniforms for the first time and just like a, a media day sort of thing they had them all together and Jaden daniels looks pretty good up up against everybody else he's it, people forget how tall he is you know he's just as big and tall as anybody else in the draft and 205 might sound scary at first but i don't think that he's uh i mean we heard all these rumors about lamar dropping down from i believe it was like two 15 or 220 and now he's or at least he's playing at 210 or something i don't know he's lamar skinny i think he's just as skinny as lamar people are calling him baby lamar at least in our our fandom santana moss and fred smoot i believe is the one that that says that or i don't know i could be wrong i don't know either way i'm extremely excited for Jaden daniels i think that he might have a rookie of the year type season and it all comes down to cliff kingsbury and our offensive scheme if you look back to last year we had eric b enemy who was supposed to be somewhat of a savior for our offensive woes and uh he threw the ball like 50 times a freaking game with a rookie quarterback or second year but realistically only had had one game under his belt was essentially a rookie quarterback who just had no shot in hell we had no linemen we had nothing it'll be exciting to see what cliff kingsbury and Jaden daniels can do this year as long as we have a good offensive mind and a good offensive direction i think that he'll strive if he can stay healthy my prediction i wanted to leave a prediction you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think i think he throws for around 3700 passing yards maybe let's say 28 touchdowns and like 12 picks and then i'll call it eight touchdowns on the ground 700 yards like 680 let me know what you guys think he's gonna do this year this was just a quick video to kind of get back up onto the channel i'm gonna get this part two out for the uh tier list video if you guys haven't seen part one i'll link it in the description and it'll pop up at the end here but i hope you guys enjoyed this is like i said a quick one i've got a couple more coming out in my mind what's coming out next might be a brian mitchell documentary i still have a fall of dan schneider video coming out if you haven't already please click subscribe i would really appreciate it uh and stay tuned for more videos about the commanders as the season starts to warm up i'm going to be doing in-person vlogs at the commander stadium so i'm going to try to get to as many games as i can it won't be like every single game but i'm going to be doing instant reactions and stuff like that and i've been in contact with janky rondo so if you guys know in the fandom janky rondo um he's a cool guy he's, he's the one that went viral for the terry clip he flips it downfield and mclaurin the hometown but yeah, me and him are going to play some Madden, I think, too, in the future. So if you guys want to see anything like that, please leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think Jaden Daniels is going to do his rookie season. And also stay tuned for the future videos. I appreciate you guys watching. Boom. We're back. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. All right. Damn. Am I, what am I wearing?
Albert Hainsworth, baby. 